everyone and welcome to a very special video today because we are looking at what seems to be or most likely one of the best fan games that the Jurassic franchise has ever seen. Now on this channel, we've covered a lot of fan-made Jurassic games, recreating maybe just even just specific scenes from individual movies. For instance, Jurassic Dream was a way to drive around Jurassic Park and just sort of enjoy the way Jurassic Park looked before it went into chaos. There was Jurassic Park S, which was like seeming to be a Jurassic Park fan game. And then it turned into like a Silent Hill horror game, which was loads of fun to check out. There was also the T-Rex Breakout, which was just taking that one iconic scene from Jurassic Park where the T-Rex breaks out and just, you know, having fun with it. There was another one I think created by the same guy, which was the raptors in the kitchen. And that's all it was. It was just that one scene from Jurassic Park where the raptors go in the kitchen and you try and survive. And if it's taught me anything, it's that the fans really want just a recreation of Jurassic Park, or maybe a story told in Jurassic Park where you can free roam, third person, first person, whatever. But for some reason, in the God knows how many years, 30 years that Jurassic Park has been out, we have yet to receive a game even close to it, or at least an official game. But this one, created by Chronodican, seems to be delivering on all of it. And what's even more amazing about it is that this isn't made in Unreal Engine or something that a lot of the other games have been made in. This is made in PlayStation's own dreams, which is basically a way to make your own game. But I assume it has its limitations. However, we are about to see that those limitations don't seem to have phased this person one iota. So without further ado, let's have a look at the trailer for this upcoming Jurassic Park game. And fingers crossed that it doesn't get slapped with any cease and desists from Universal because literally this is what we want. I'm excited, let's go. Creation is an act of sheer will. Heck yeah it is. Heck yeah it is. Oh, wow. Look at it. This place, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. The flea Circus, John Hammond, that's what you need. Something that was real. Beautiful. Something that they could see and touch. The Avery? Interesting. And of course, the visitor center. Go on. You can't think through this one, John. You have to feel it. They've done an amazing and the river adventure. I was overwhelmed by the power of this place. But I made a mistake too. I didn't have enough respect for that power, and it's out now. The only thing that matters now are the people we love. Oh, that looks so cool. Alan and Lex and Tim. Look at that, that looks amazing. And actual explorers! Because you don't have to get the license. Oh, that's cool. I love that you've got the um, the motion sensors as well that were in the novel. They were in the Super Nintendo game, I think, as well. I mean, it's it's delivering a lot, including the river adventure, which is amazing. At least there's some first person. Oh, that looks great. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, that's cool. That's a river adventure, but like different. I have no expense. Jurassic Park operations. Made in dreams. Beautiful. Oh, that's all we want. That's all we want is like fans of the franchise is just to be able to walk around and enjoy what, you know, John's Hammond creation could have been. You've got the river adventure, which is technically now an extinct ride, except for, well, it is in California. I think it still exists in Florida, maybe? Or maybe it's actually Florida is the only place it's been destroyed. It still exists in Japan and California, or at least some of the Universal Parks. But it looks like um, they've just recreated scenes like the Brachiosaurus here. You've got maybe some displays of the different uh, fauna that are in Jurassic Park. Avery, this is probably the only bit where it looks a bit unfinished. Like, behind this looks like an image. It doesn't look like it's, you know... But again, this isn't released at all. And it's just amazing to me that this is created in, like, a third-party software. In, in order to even make this, it's crazy. And then the classic River Adventure text there. They do show these this bit, which is 
or like throughout the ride where you've got the Brachiosaurs, you've got the Dilophosaurs spitting on you and the T-Rex. But it seems like there's a little bit of a twist on it. Now, I'm kind of curious as to how much of this is scripted events. I don't know what's going on with the texture of this guy's arm. Ooh, I think he needs to see a dermatologist or something. Uh, you've got the sea. Yeah, you even got the light from when Ellie Sattler goes in to turn on the power there. The Ford Explorers looking like Ford Explorers, which is interesting. Uh, this is interesting as well. I don't know if those were ever lit up in the movie because they were just the cameras to follow the track. I mean, it, make, it would make sense for them to have lights, I suppose. But I think canonically they don't have lights. Uh, and if you just look at it, it looks so good. Like the reason why we don't have explorers or jeeps in evolution and stuff like that is because they have to get the license from Jeep or Explorer to use it. So that every time you see them, they're like slightly off. Like they have the logos and everything, the colors, but they're, 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 there's just something not, it's like an uncanny valley about them. It's like so close. This is an interesting bit. You've got two Jeeps. You've got the T-Rex and the motion sensor. Uh, there, which is just uh, like a lovely little uh, touch of detail there, um, which the movie never really explored upon, which is how the dinosaurs were kept track on. That's the classic scene. Uh, this is an interesting one. I I'm kind of curious as to, I mean, I haven't got in touch with the guy or anything, but I have seen the, the this video floating about, um, but I don't know whether we're, we're going to follow a story. Um, and as we progress, we sort of follow the events of Jurassic Park. Um, because, like, there's the Dilophosaurus scene that would spray water on you. You got raptors, and what seems to be maybe you got time here, which says 12.30 and possibly a health? Maybe that could be your health indicator? Um, and then the raptor jumping and attacking. This is the bit where, in the river adventure, you would fall down, uh, down the giant water slide, and the T-Rex looks like it's going to be- This looks absolutely terrifying! I love it! I do hope that, you know, this is AI, but I get the feeling, because- to have AI that's this complicated. Look at the teeth, man. It looks terrifying. There's so many millions of teeth. So rated razor teeth. Yeah, it looks like, you know, to have AI to know to crawl and stuff like that, that seems a bit complicated. I could be wrong, though. So maybe this is scripted events. Here, I'm not exactly too sure what you got going on. You've got, like, maybe this is when you get to the island, you know, you, you relax and you, you're about to sit down to a meal, and then all of a sudden... Like, you see ra a raptor shadow in the distance and, like, the TV goes off and stuff. And that would be a great way, you know, maybe we could be on the island at the time of the events of Jurassic Park. So when things go wrong, I um, mean, we are in the visitor center or in some sort of uh, resort because there were supposed to be those on the island too. And then, you you know, you sort of take part in the rest of the stuff that happens here. You got a Triceratops, but I don't know what this dinosaur is. I mean, it looks like a raptor, right? But it could be Herarosaurus because its patterns are a bit different to the uh, the raptor and it would, wouldn't make sense as to why one raptor would be different. Uh, because, I mean, as you can see, this is the raptor. Um, not exactly true. You've got water here. So this is the river adventure and I'm assuming a raptor jumps onto your boat there, which is interesting. Uh, you've got this reversing shot of the, uh, of the river adventure, or, or sorry, a jeep running away from the T-Rex. And then this one again, which is, I assume, when Ellie's running away from the raptor after turning on the power. But that looks weird. If this is unscripted, you know, and it's just the way it's going, that looks so cool. And then this is another one. Um, this was, I think if you've ever been on the actual ride itself, you, there's like a little command station that's like overrun or like destroyed or something when you're going up uh, towards the T-Rex. But this is going backwards, so you're being chased by the T-Rex. So maybe there's a little bit of a, a change on the actual ride itself. I mean, that, ah, oh, look at that shot. That looks so good. Oh, yes, that's the, that's the money shot. That's the, there we go. That's the thumbnail. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> but it just looks so amazing. I, I'm, I, I'm astounded, really, by the level of detail and just the, the amount of things that they've managed to pack into this. I would love to see a finished version of any of these Jurassic Park games. I mean, you can find them all on my channel. Uh, I'll probably put links in the description down below if you want to check out all the other different projects. There was even some on Site B to do with Jurassic Park 3 and avoiding the uh, feathered raptors and stuff like that. But every now and again, you get these little gems of Jurassic media coming from the fans, not from any official, um, you know, source, not that they couldn't do it because they have the money, they, they you know, I, I really, I do not understand why we don't have anything like this. 
maybe there is. Maybe they're keeping Stum on something. Maybe, you know, we haven't heard about it just yet. But it really feels like a missed opportunity, especially when we can get some absolutely astonishing fan games looking like this that are completely independent and, you know, I'm assuming funded by themselves. There's no Kickstarters or anything. And this doesn't show any signs of going to Kickstarter. Um, and the fact that it's on Dreams, you know, it's it's it, it, it's playable by the looks of it. It's obviously not finished. But if I was to hazard a guess as to how this goes, I mean, you, you, you come to the island before Alan Grant and everyone goes on. You go on the river adventure, everything seems fine. And then, you know, you, you experience the park the way it should be. And maybe there's a point where everything changes. When you do sit down to have your meal and then you hear raptors and then everything else happens. And maybe, you, you know, we take part in other things that are going on and maybe we switch between the two. Either way, I would literally, and not just me, I feel like everybody who's a fan of the franchise would be happy with something like this. Um, you know, just to walk around, enjoy it, you know, be chased by the dinosaurs, just explore these classic locations. Honestly, they don't, they don't even have to do much, really. The only problem has Nightmare Fuel. I love this shot, though. The only problem with this is that it is on Dreams. So you do need a PlayStation 4 or 5, I think it is. Maybe even 3, I'm not sure, but probably 4 or 5 uh, in order to play this, which is the only downside because it does mean it limits the amount of people that can play it. Uh, however, whenever it does eventually come out, I'm looking forward to it. We'll, of course, 1 million percent play it on the channel. I cannot wait. But until then, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, sh share this. Um, also, I put a link to the the, um, the YouTube of uh, Chronauticon as well in the video for this to show them the support. Let, let them know I, I sent you. Of course, hey, Gabe, you me. <laughs> but yes, any, I, if there's any way I can support them, you know, by you know, making videos like this and putting the word out there, I'm happy to do it. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.